How do animals know when it is time to migrate? Although there are several cues that animals could use to stimulate migration. The most consistent year after year would be the change in duration of daylight, also known as photoperiodism. Although it has been suggested that temperature changes might also play a role. Light is still the best predictor of migratory onset. Which animal has the longest gestation period? The animal with the longest gestation period is not a mammal, it is the viviparous amphibian. The alpine black salamander, which can have a gestation period of up to 38 months at altitudes above 4,600 feet. 1,402 m, in the Swiss Alps, it bears two fully metamorphosed young. Skinner related to operant conditioning? F. Skinner, 1904-1990, was an American psychologist who extensively studied trial and error learning in animals, later known as operant conditioning. A standard setup for his research involved the following, an animal is placed in a cage. Known as a Skinner box, that has a bar or pedal that yields a food reward when pressed. Once the animal has practiced the behavior, it will continue to press the bar repeatedly. Having learned to associate this activity with food. By releasing food only when the animal completes some task. The observer can train the subject to perform complex behaviors on demand. These operant conditioning techniques have been used to teach. Behaviors such as training pigeons to play table tennis with their beaks. How do animals know which direction to travel? The ability to navigate from one place to another is found among a diverse group of species. While it is well known that birds can navigate over long distances. Many people are unaware that bats, salmon, locusts and frogs are also capable of this behavior. Animals use a variety of cues to find their way including the position of the sun, moon and stars. Topographic features of the landscape, meteorological cues, e. g. Prevailing winds and magnetic fields are also used by certain animals. Which mammal has the shortest gestation period? Which one has the longest period? Gestation is the period of time between fertilization and birth in oviparous animals. The shortest gestation period known among mammals is 12 to 13 days, shared by three marsupials. The American or Virginian opossum, Didelphys marsupialis, the rare water opossum, or Yapak, Chironectes minimus.
of Central and Northern South America, and the eastern native cat, Dossi urus viverinus, of Australia. The young of each of these marsupials are born while still immature and complete their development in the ventral pouch of their mother. While 12 to 13 days is the average, the gestation period is sometimes as short as 8 days. The longest gestation period for a mammal is that of the African elephant. Loxodonta africana, with an average of 660 days and a maximum of 760 days. Are humans the only animals who can think? Before one can answer this question, one must define what is meant by thought. How does a homing pigeon find its way home? Scientists currently have two hypotheses to explain the homing flight of pigeons. Neither has been proved to the satisfaction of all the experts. The first hypothesis involves an odor map. This theory proposes that young pigeons learn how to return to their original point of departure by smelling different odors that reach their home in winds from varying directions. They would, for example, learn that a certain odor is carried on winds blowing from the east. If a pigeon were transported eastward, the odor would tell it to fly westward to return home. The second hypothesis proposes that a bird may be able to extract its home's latitude and longitude from the Earth's magnetic field. It may be proven in the future that neither theory explains the pigeon's navigational abilities or that some synthesis of the two theories is the actual mechanism. What animal makes the longest migration? The Arctic tern, Sterna paradisia, flies a round trip from the Arctic of North America and Eurasia to the Antarctic. A round trip that can total as much as 20,000 miles 32,000 kilometers. Who was Ivan Pavlov? Ivan Pavlov, 1849-1936, was a Russian physiologist who became famous for his experiments with dogs, in which the animals performed a specific behavior upon being confronted with a certain stimulus. In these well-known investigations, minor surgery was performed on a dog so that its saliva could be measured. The dog was deprived of food, a bell was sounded, and meat powder was placed in the dog's mouth. The meat powder caused the hungry dog to salivate, this is an example of an unconditioned reflex. However, eventually, after many trials, the dog would salivate at the sound of the bell, without meat powder being offered. This is an example of a conditioned reflex or classical Pavlovian conditioning. Although he never thought much of the then-fledgling science of psychology. 
Pavlov's work on conditioned reflexes has been far-reaching, from elementary education to adult training programs. Pavlov was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, 1904, for his study of the physiology of digestion. What is unique about egg incubation in some amphibians? Unlike most toads and frogs the female Suriname toad, Pipa Pipa, carries her eggs in special pockets in the skin on her back. Each egg develops in its own pocket in the female's skin. The tadpole's tails are plugged into the mother's system. Similar to the placenta of mammals, exchanging nutrients and gases. The tadpoles develop quickly, undergoing metamorphosis while still in the pockets. Upon transformation into miniature frogs, they break free of their pocket walls to begin independent lives. How do salmon find the way to their spawning grounds? Scientists do not know exactly how a salmon remembers the way back to its native stream. After an ocean journey possibly lasting several years and covering several thousand miles. They agree, however, that salmon, like homing pigeons, appear to have an innate compass or search recognition mechanism that operates independently of astronomical or physical signs. Some scientists theorize that this internal compass uses the infinitely small electrical voltages generated by the ocean currents as they travel through the Earth's magnetic field. Others believe that the salmon's homing mechanism may take its cues from the varying salinities of the water or specific smells encountered along the journey. Can animals behave altruistically? Altruism is the performance of a behavior that will benefit the recipient at a cost to the donor. Such as risking one's life to save another. There are numerous examples of animals exhibiting altruistic behavior. For instance, adult crows may act as nannies for other crows. Instead of increasing their fitness by producing their own offspring. Another example is a ground squirrel that will warn others of the presence of a predator. Even though making such a call may draw the attention of the predator to itself. In studying social insects, Edward O. Wilson, 1929 found that in many species of social insects workers forego reproduction entirely, they are sterile, in order to help raise their sisters. There are two possible explanations for this behavior. The donor is performing the act either in hope that the recipient will someday return the favor. Reciprocal altruism or because the recipient is a family member. In the game of evolution, winners are those who leave the greatest number of copies of their genes in the subsequent generations. So this kin selection form of altruism may not be so altruistic after all.
What is delayed implantation? Delayed implantation is a phenomenon that lengthens the gestation period of many mammals. The blastocyst remains dormant while its implantation in the uterine wall is postponed for a period of time lasting from a few weeks to several months. Many mammals, including bears, seals, weasels, badgers, bats, and some deer, use this phenomenon to extend their gestation period through delayed implantation so they give birth at the time of year that offers the best chance of survival for their young. How can animal thought processes be studied? Determining how an animal thinks will involve scanning. The brain of the animal while performing a cognitive task. Data would then be compared with humans. Although human functional MRI experiments are becoming common. Such experiments on other animals are still quite rare. Do all animals use imprinting? Imprinting is a prime example of the relative influence of nature, genes, and nurture, environment, on behavior. The organism is born with a sketchy outline of an object, parent, reproductive partner, drawn from its genetic component, and this is then filled in by its experiences in the environment. Therefore, while not all species have been found to meet the scientific definition of imprinting, it is highly likely that all animals will exhibit at least some behaviors that combine genetic and environmental influences. How long do animals in particular mammals, live? Of the mammals, humans and fin whales live the longest. Below is the maximum lifespan for various animal species. Why do animals migrate? Animals migrate for a variety of reasons, including climate. Too hot or too cold during part of the year, food availability, seasonal, and breeding. Some animals need a specific environment to lay eggs or give birth. Animals move between locations to take advantage of optimal environments. What animals have been studied for play behavior? Coyotes, wolves, and dogs, all canids, have been studied extensively for comparisons of play behavior patterns. Neither dogs, specifically beagles, nor wolves showed agonistic behavior during play. In comparison, coyotes showed high levels of agonistic 
behavior throughout a comparable developmental period. Coyotes usually established dominance in a pack by fighting at an early age. How is BF? Do animal studies predict human behavior? George Romains, 1848-1894 Was one of the first scientists to investigate the comparative psychology of intelligence. He believed that by studying animal behavior, one could gain insights into human behavior. However, his theory was based on inferences rather than direct observations of comparable behavior. Can animals recognize different languages? Scientists have compared language discrimination in human newborns and cottontop tamarind monkeys. Each group was presented with 20 sentences in Japanese and 20 sentences in Dutch. Infant reactions were gauged by their interest in sucking on a pacifier. When infants first heard sentences in Dutch, they sucked rapidly on their pacifiers. But after a while they grew bored with the Dutch sentences, and the rate of sucking slowed. When someone started speaking in Japanese, they showed increased interest by increasing their rate of sucking. Language discrimination was studied in tamarind monkeys by changes in the facial orientation toward or away from the loudspeaker. Similar to the infant reactions, the monkeys looked at a loudspeaker broadcasting Dutch sentences and looked away when bored. When someone started speaking Japanese sentences, they looked back at the loudspeaker. Results indicate shared sensitivities between monkeys and humans in the ability to discriminate between languages. What is a fixed action pattern? A fixed action pattern, FAP, is an innate behavior pattern that is genetic and thus independent of individual learning. It consists of a series of stereotypic behaviors that are dependent on an external signal. Sign stimulus, that causes the behavior. A well-documented FAP is the response of the male three-spined stickleback fish to aggressive stimuli. When a male stickleback is presented with a fish model displaying a red belly characteristic of males, it will display a series of standard threat and aggressive attack behaviors. How can you tell male and female lobsters apart? The differences between male and female lobsters can only be seen when they are turned on their backs. In the male lobster the two swimmerets, forked appendages used for swimming, nearest the carapace. The solid shell, are hard, sharp, and bony, in the female the same swimmerets are soft and feathery. The female also has a receptacle that appears as a shield wedged between the third pair of walking legs. 
During mating the male deposits sperm into this receptacle, where it remains for as long as several months until the female uses it to fertilize her eggs as they are laid. Do animals have friends? Animals do form social attachments, friends, among their peers. For example, among savanna baboons, bonds between males and females are a central feature of a society. Behaviors like allogrooming, grooming another animal, and reciprocal altruism. Helping another animal, allow unrelated animals to form enduring bonds. What is the importance of an external egg in reproduction? Species that have an external egg usually produce a greater number of zygotes. Because mating between males and females is not required for successful reproduction. The external egg of most species has a leathery outer covering to prevent desiccation. What is the lifespan of a fruit fly? The length of adult life can vary considerably. Under ideal conditions an adult Drosophila melanogaster can live as long as 40 days. In crowded conditions lifespan may drop to 12 days. Under normal laboratory conditions, however, adults generally die after only 6 or 7 days. How is the gender of alligator embryos determined? The gender of an alligator is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. High temperatures of 90 degrees to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees to 34 degrees Celsius, result in males. Low temperatures of 82 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius, yield females. This determination takes place during the second and third week of the two-month incubation. Further temperature fluctuations before or after this time do not alter the gender of the young. The heat from the decaying matter on top of the nest incubates the eggs. How many eggs does a spider lay? The number of eggs varies according to the species. Some larger spiders lay more than 2,000 eggs. But many tiny spiders lay one or two and perhaps no more than a dozen during their lifetime. Spiders of average size probably lay a hundred or so. Most spiders lay all their eggs at one time and enclose them in a single egg sac. Others lay eggs over a period of time and enclose them in a number of egg sacs. What predicts whether one animal will help another?
usually animals that help one another are of the same species. Conspecific, and are most likely to be genetically related. The closer the relationship, the more likely helping will occur. This is demonstrated among vampire bats. Where bats returning to the roost may share blood with those who have not fed. Most sharing occurs between close relatives, e. g. mother and offspring, however, unrelated but closely associated individuals may exhibit. Reciprocal altruism where help is given to those individuals most likely to return the favor. What predicts whether one animal will help another? Usually animals that help one another are of the same species. Conspecific, and are most likely to be genetically related. The closer the relationship, the more likely helping will occur. This is demonstrated among vampire bats. Where bats returning to the roost may share blood with those who have not fed. Most sharing occurs between close relatives, e. g. mother and offspring, however, unrelated but closely associated individuals may exhibit. Reciprocal altruism where help is given to those individuals most likely to return the favor. Do all females take care of their offspring? While females are the most common primary caregivers, in some species, e. g. c. orzas, males are the primary caregivers for their offspring. Male parental care may be as simple as defending the nest against potential predators. Or as time consuming as providing food and the shelter of their bodies for young hatchlings. In other species such as guppies, no parental care by either sex is provided. Do all females take care of their offspring? While females are the most common primary caregivers, in some species, e. g. c. orzas, males are the primary caregivers for their offspring. Male parental care may be as simple as defending the nest against potential predators. Or as time consuming as providing food and the shelter of their bodies for young hatchlings. In other species such as guppies, no parental care by either sex is provided. What is meant by a dominant animal? When two animals attempt to acquire the same resource simultaneously, e. g. a food item, and one consistently wins the prize, that animal is considered dominant. Evolutionary theory suggests that dominance may be a way for animals to avoid actual fighting. Since aggressive interaction may be physically costly even for the winner.
What is meant by a dominant animal? When two animals attempt to acquire the same resource simultaneously, e. g. a food item, and one consistently wins the prize, that animal is considered dominant. Evolutionary theory suggests that dominance may be a way for animals to avoid actual fighting. Since aggressive interaction may be physically costly even for the winner. How do animals know who is the boss in the herd? Determining dominance can be overt or quite cryptic. It may involve a physical challenge and some kind of stylized fighting. Or it may rely on body language, like a change in the way a dog wags its tail. Sometimes animals determine dominance by cues too subtle for human observers to recognize. How do animals know who is the boss in the herd? Determining dominance can be overt or quite cryptic. It may involve a physical challenge and some kind of stylized fighting. Or it may rely on body language, like a change in the way a dog wags its tail. Sometimes animals determine dominance by cues too subtle for human observers to recognize. What does it mean to be the alpha male? In animal groups with multiple individuals. Those at the top of the dominance hierarchy are designated as the alpha male, and alpha female. Those next in line would be the beta individuals, using the nomenclature of the Greek alphabet. Alpha individuals control the behavior of the other animals. And may be the only individuals that mate within the group. They may also be the decision makers. As in determining which direction the group travels, where the group sleeps, and so forth. What does it mean to be the alpha male? In animal groups with multiple individuals. Those at the top of the dominance hierarchy are designated as the alpha male, and alpha female. Those next in line would be the beta individuals, using the nomenclature of the Greek alphabet. Alpha individuals control the behavior of the other animals. And may be the only individuals that mate within the group. They may also be the decision makers. As in determining which direction the group travels, where the group sleeps, and so forth. What is meant by the phrase pecking order? Pecking order refers to the dominance hierarchy, i.e., relative ranking, of animals within the same species. 
it has been adapted in business to refer to one's position within the company. What is meant by the phrase pecking order? Pecking order refers to the dominance hierarchy, i.e., relative ranking, of animals within the same species. It has been adapted in business to refer to one's position within the company. Can animals commit suicide? There is no evidence of animals committing suicide. In strict Darwinian terms this would be of no advantage to an individual's fitness. Can animals commit suicide? There is no evidence of animals committing suicide. In strict Darwinian terms this would be of no advantage to an individual's fitness. Can animals commit murder? If murder is defined as the killing of members of the same species, then some species do indeed commit murder. This could be the result of an altercation to determine dominance within the group or a battle over a resource like food or a mate. Animals, including lions and langur monkeys, have also been known to commit infanticide death killing of infants. In these cases infanticide has been linked to the arrival of a new alpha male in the group. Scientists surmise that by killing the infants in the group, who were fathered by some other male, the new alpha can bring their mothers into sexual receptivity faster and thus ensure a chance for reproductive success. Can animals commit murder? If murder is defined as the killing of members of the same species, then some species do indeed commit murder. This could be the result of an altercation to determine dominance within the group or a battle over a resource like food or a mate. Animals, including lions and langur monkeys, have also been known to commit infanticide death killing of infants. In these cases infanticide has been linked to the arrival of a new alpha male in the group. Scientists surmise that by killing the infants in the group, who were fathered by some other male, the new alpha can bring their mothers into sexual receptivity faster and thus ensure a chance for reproductive success. How do elephants find each other across the savanna? Although elephants are well known for the trumpeting calls that they make when angry or disturbed, they are also capable of using ultrasound, 
sounds above the range of human hearing. And infrasound, sounds below the range of human hearing, to communicate with one another. Researchers have concluded that elephants may be able to hear ultrasonic calls from as far away as 2.5 miles 4 kilometers. In contrast, it is estimated that an infrasonic call by a male elephant could in fact cover an area of 11.6 square miles 30 square kilometers. How do elephants find each other across the savanna? Although elephants are well known for the trumpeting calls that they make when angry or disturbed. They are also capable of using ultrasound, sounds above the range of human hearing. And infrasound, sounds below the range of human hearing, to communicate with one another. Researchers have concluded that elephants may be able to Hear ultrasonic calls from as far away as 2.5 miles 4 kilometers. In contrast, it is estimated that an infrasonic call by a male elephant could in fact cover an area of 11.6 square miles 30 square kilometers. Do whales really talk to one another? Whales produce low-frequency sounds that allow them to communicate across long distances. Recent research has found that among the fin whales, only males produce these calls. The long low-frequency sounds of male fin whales attract females to patches of food. Where mating can then occur. This means that the increasing amounts of sonar activity from ships in the ocean may interfere. With the ability of these males to find mates, and therefore threatens the species' survival. Do whales really talk to one another? Whales produce low-frequency sounds that allow them to communicate across long distances. Recent research has found that among the fin whales, only males produce these calls. The long low-frequency sounds of male fin whales attract females to patches of food. Where mating can then occur. This means that the increasing amounts of sonar activity from ships in the ocean may interfere. With the ability of these males to find mates, and therefore threatens the species' survival. Do animals ever take advantage of each other? Any interaction where one actor benefits while the other is hurt in some way could be described as one animal taking advantage of another. Common examples of this type of behavior include predation and parasitism. Do animals ever take advantage of each other? Any interaction where one actor benefits while the other is hurt in 
some way could be described as one animal taking advantage of another. Common examples of this type of behavior include predation and parasitism. What is parasitism? Parasitism is an interaction in which one organism the parasite, co-opts the resources of another organism, the host. By definition, the host is hurt by the association while the parasite benefits. Parasitism can be physical, like the parasitic worms found in the internal organs of animals. Or social, like the brood or nest parasitism found in some birds. In these species, resident birds are tricked into incubating the 340 eggs and raising the chicks of interlopers. What is parasitism? Parasitism is an interaction in which one organism the parasite, co-opts the resources of another organism, the host. By definition, the host is hurt by the association while the parasite benefits. Parasitism can be physical, like the parasitic worms found in the internal organs of animals. Or social, like the brood or nest parasitism found in some birds. In these species, resident birds are tricked into incubating the 340 eggs and raising the chicks of interlopers. What are the most primitive animals that have been studied for their behavior? Sponges are the most primitive animals studied for their behavior. Investigations have shown that sponges in their natural environment may move away from physical contact with competitors, areas with limited food, or sites that have excessive exposure to silt abrasion by water flows. What is the chemical composition of chitin? Chitin, found in the exoskeletons of insects and other arthropods, is a glucosamine polysaccharide with the formula of C30H50O19N4 and a molecular weight of 770.42. The basic units of this substance are linked together by condensation reactions to make up long chains. Hydrogen bonds link the chains together and help make chitin rigid and strong. It is a white, amorphous, semi-transparent mass that is insoluble in common solvents like water and alcohol. What does chest beating in gorillas signify? Chest beating in gorillas is part of an aggressive behavior display. It is usually presented by a silverback, male, against unrelated silverbacks. A chest beating display, 
accompanied by hoots and barks, may also be used to impress females. Which birds lay the largest and smallest eggs? The elephant bird, Ep Ornus maximus, an extinct flightless bird of Madagascar. Also known as the giant bird or rock, laid the largest known bird eggs. Some of these eggs measured as much as 13.5 in, 34 centimeters, in length and 9.5 in, 24 centimeters, in diameter. The largest egg produced by any living bird is that of the North African ostrich, Struthio camelus. The average size is 6 to 8 in, 15 to 20.5 centimeters, in length and 4 to 6 in, 5 to 15 centimeters, in diameter. The smallest mature egg, measuring less than 0.39 in, 1 centimeter, in length. Is that of the vervain hummingbird, Melisuga minima, of Jamaica? Generally speaking, the larger the bird, the larger the egg. However, when compared with the bird's body size, the ostrich egg is one of the smallest eggs. While the hummingbird's egg is one of the largest. The kiwi bird of New Zealand lays the Largest egg relative to body size of any living bird. Its egg weighs up to 1 pound 0.5 kilograms. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals, differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials, kangaroos, bandicoots, wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, Tasmanian devils, etc. have an abdominal pouch called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy, milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, some scientists now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals. A female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. What are the problems an animal must overcome to move? In contrast to other organisms, animals are able to move. The two forces an animal overcomes to move are gravity and friction. Aquatic animals do not have much difficulty overcoming gravity, since they are buoyant in water. 
However, because water is dense, the problem of resistance, friction, is greater for these animals. Many of them have sleek shapes to help them swim. Terrestrial animals tend to have fewer problems with friction. Since air poses fewer problems of resistance than does water. However, terrestrial animals must work harder to overcome gravity. How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. How do animals know who is the boss in the herd? Determining dominance can be overt or quite cryptic. It may involve a physical challenge and some kind of stylized fighting. Or it may rely on body language, like a change in the way a dog wags its tail. Sometimes animals determine dominance by cues too subtle for human observers to recognize. If primates are so close to humans, both genetically and evolutionarily, then why can't they speak? Scientists used to think that apes were not intelligent enough to speak. However, it is now thought that an ape's vocal cords are not built for speech. After many years of observations, it is well known that apes do use vocal communication. But it is usually in the form of hoots and grunts, with accompanying gestures. Can animals learn from other animals? Yes, animals can learn from other animals. Researchers observing the behavior of Japanese macaques would leave pieces of potato on the beach of the island where the study occurred. Every day the macaques would spend their time carefully cleaning the sand off their treats. Then one day a young female carried her potato to the sea, where she rinsed it off. Soon her mother was following her example. And then other females as well until finally the entire troop had learned the behavior. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni, indigenous to Australia. Tasmania, and New Guinea, respectively are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. 
In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems and in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle and rib and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. Do whales really talk to one another? Whales produce low-frequency sounds that allow them to communicate across long distances. Recent research has found that among the fin whales, only males produce these calls. The long low-frequency sounds of male fin whales attract females to patches of food. Where mating can then occur. This means that the increasing amounts of sonar activity from ships in the ocean may interfere with the ability of these males to find mates, and therefore threatens the species' survival. What does genetics have to do with behavior? Some ethologists feel that all behavior is genetically programmed. If a behavior is under genetic control, then it is a sequence of events. Sign stimulus, releasing mechanism, and fixed action pattern. However, the mainstream view is that most or all behavior is a result of a combination of genetic programming and environmental learning. Do all females take care of their offspring? While females are the most common primary caregivers, in some species, E. G. C. Orzas, males are the primary caregivers for their offspring. Male parental care may be as simple as defending the nest against potential predators. Or as time consuming as providing food and the shelter of their bodies for young hatchlings. In other species such as guppies, no parental care by either sex is provided. What are the upper and lower shell of a turtle called? The turtle, order testudinas, uses its shell as a protective device. The upper shell is called the dorsal carapace and the lower shell is called the ventral plastron. The shell sections are referred to as the scutes. The carapace and the plastron are joined at the sides. What is meant by a dominant animal? When two animals attempt to acquire the same resource simultaneously, e. g. a food item, and one consistently wins the prize, that animal is considered dominant. Evolutionary theory suggests that dominance may be a way for animals to avoid actual fighting. 
since aggressive interaction may be physically costly even for the winner. Who was the first primate taught to use sign language? Although it was long known that primates use a number of methods of communication in the wild. Early attempts, from 1900 to the 1930s, to teach primates simple words were failures. A 1925 scientific article suggested sign language as an alternative to verbal language in communicating with primates. In the 1960s researchers tried to teach chimps and gorillas a modified form of sign language. It began with Washo the chimpanzee, followed by the gorillas Michael, now dead, and Coco. Washo learned a little over 100 signs. But Coco has a working vacabulary of over 1000 signs and understands about 2000 words of spoken English. What emotions do animals have? Many pet owners say that they know when their animal is happy or sad. And now there is evidence to show that animals do exhibit emotion. Researchers have found that emotions are accompanied by biochemical changes in the brain that can be measured. When scientists examine the physiological changes found in humans that correlate with certain emotional states, e. g. anger, fear, lust, they find that these changes can also be observed in certain animal species. A study of stress among African baboons showed that social behavior, personality, and rank within the troop can influence the levels of stress hormones. There is increasing evidence that birds, reptiles, and fishes also experience some form of emotions. Although the idea of animals feeling emotions raises skepticism, Students of animal behavior agree that many creatures experience fear, which is largely instinctive and, in effect, is pre-wired into the brain. Field observations have recorded expressions that correlate with pleasure, play, grief, and depression. Jane Goodall, watching the reaction of a young chimp after the death of his mother, maintains that the animal died of grief. Even with this evidence, it is impossible to truly know how another organism feels. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are incredibly strong in relation to their size. Most ants can carry objects 10 to 20 times their own weight. And some ants can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100-pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back, and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. What does it mean to be the alpha male?
in animal groups with multiple individuals. Those at the top of the dominance hierarchy are designated as the alpha male, and alpha female. Those next in line would be the beta individuals, using the nomenclature of the Greek alphabet. Alpha individuals control the behavior of the other animals. And may be the only individuals that mate within the group. They may also be the decision makers. As in determining which direction the group travels, where the group sleeps, and so forth. Can animals commit murder? If murder is defined as the killing of members of the same species, then some species do indeed commit murder. This could be the result of an altercation to determine dominance within the group or a battle over a resource like food or a mate. Animals, including lions and langur monkeys, have also been known to commit infanticide death killing of infants. In these cases infanticide has been linked to the arrival of a new alpha male in the group. Scientists surmise that by killing the infants in the group, who were fathered by some other male, the new alpha can bring their mothers into sexual receptivity faster and thus ensure a chance for reproductive success. When do birds learn to sing? Male song sparrows generally learn to sing during a critical period between 10 and 50 days after hatching. In some birds such as the mouse wren, the learning period for song development is influenced by photo period, amount of daylight, and social interactions with other adult birds. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. In two seconds, it has been timed at speeds of 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers per hour over short distances in most chases cheetahs average around 40 miles per hour 63 kilometers per hour humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles per hour 45 kilometers per hour maximum most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of 0.25 mi, 0.4 kilometers. What is habituation? Habituation is the decreased response to a stimulus that is repeated without reinforcement. Habituation can be very important to an animal in its natural surroundings. As an example, young ducklings run for cover when a shadow, a possible predator, passes overhead. Gradually, however, the ducklings learn which types of shadows are dangerous and which are harmless.
What are the three main types of skeletal systems? The three main types of skeletal systems are hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton, and endoskeleton. A hydrostatic skeleton consists of fluid under pressure. This type of skeletal system is most common in soft, flexible animals such as hydras, planar eons, and earthworms and other segmented worms. Hydras and planar eons have a fluid-filled gastrovascular cavity. The body cavity, or chylome, of an earthworm is also fluid-filled. Many aquatic and certain terrestrial animals have an exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is rigid and hard. Mollusks have an exoskeleton made of calcium carbonate. It grows with the animal during its entire lifetime. Another type of exoskeleton common among insects and arthropods is made from chitin. Chitin is a strong flexible nitrogenous polysaccharide. While it provides excellent protection and allows for a large variety of movements. It does not grow with the animal. When an animal outgrows its skeleton, it must shed its skeleton and replace it with a larger one in a process known as molding. An endoskeleton consists of bone and cartilage and grows with the animal throughout its life. It stores calcium salts and blood cells and consists of hard or leathery. Supporting elements situated among the soft tissues of an animal. Although most common among vertebrates, certain invertebrates such as sponges, sea stars, sea urchins, and other echinoderms have an endoskeleton of hard plates beneath their skin. This type of skeletal system allows for a wider range of movement than do the other two. What is parasitism? Parasitism is an interaction in which one organism The parasite, co-opts the resources of another organism, the host. By definition, the host is hurt by the association while the parasite benefits. Parasitism can be physical, like the parasitic worms found in the internal organs of animals. Or social, like the brood or nest parasitism found in some birds. In these species, resident birds are tricked into incubating the 340 eggs. And raising the chicks, of interlopers. What is unusual about the way the emperor penguin's eggs are incubated? Each female emperor penguin, Aptenidites fur's terry, lays one large egg. Initially, both sexes share in incubating the egg by carrying it on his or her feet covered with a fold of skin. After a few days of passing the egg back and forth, the female leaves to feed in the open water of the Arctic Ocean. Balancing their eggs on their feet, the male penguins shuffle about the rookery. Periodically huddling together for warmth during blizzards and frigid weather. If an egg is inadvertently orphaned, a male with no egg will quickly adopt it. 
Two months after the female's departure, the chick hatches. The male feeds it with a milky substance he regurgitates until the female returns. Now padded with blubber. The females take over feeding the chicks with fish they have stored in their crops. The females do not return to their mate, and own offspring, however. But wander from male to male until one allows her to take his chick. It is then the male's turn to feed in open water and restore the fat layer they lost while incubating. What predicts whether one animal will help another? Usually animals that help one another are of the same species. Conspecific, and are most likely to be genetically related. The closer the relationship, the more likely helping will occur. This is demonstrated among vampire bats. Where bats returning to the roost may share blood with those who have not fed. Most sharing occurs between close relatives, e. g. mother and offspring, however, unrelated but closely associated individuals may exhibit. Reciprocal altruism where help is given to those individuals most likely to return the favor. How do elephants find each other across the savanna? Although elephants are well known for the trumpeting calls that they make when angry or disturbed. They are also capable of using ultrasound, sounds above the range of human hearing. And infrasound, sounds below the range of human hearing, to communicate with one another. Researchers have concluded that elephants may be able to Hear ultrasonic calls from as far away as 2.5 miles 4 kilometers. In contrast, it is estimated that an infrasonic call by a male elephant could in fact cover an area of 11.6 square miles 30 square kilometers. What is the function of the skeletal system? The skeletal system is a multifunctional system. The skeletal system provides support, allows an animal to move, and protects the internal organs and soft parts of an animal's body. Who first suggested that apes could use language? Samuel Pepys, 1633-1703, famous for his 17th century diary. Wrote about what he called a baboon and suggested that it might be taught to speak or make signs. How do songbirds learn to sing? Through analysis of many bird species, ethologists have found two major types of song development. 1. Imitating the songs of others, particularly adults of the same species. 
and 2, invention or improvisation of unique songs. Observations of male song sparrows, particularly during their first month of life. Show that when the birds arrive at a new habitat, they memorize the songs of the males in that neighborhood. What is the relationship between blue jays, monarch butterflies, and milkweed? As part of their life cycle, female monarchs lay their eggs exclusively on milkweed plants. After a few days the eggs hatch and a yellow, black, and white striped caterpillar emerges from each egg. These caterpillars are totally dependent on milkweed plants. Although the plants contain toxic substances, cardinalides, that are poisonous to other animals, the toxin is harmless to the monarch. Blue jays, who spend much of their day searching for food, will often eat insects such as adult monarch butterflies to supplement their otherwise vegetarian diet. However, if the food tastes bad, the blue jays will vomit up the food and will then learn individually to avoid the food in the future. Thus, wild monarch butterflies with high levels of cardinalide Concentrations are less susceptible to natural predation by birds. This is an example of operant conditioning in the wild. 